Rose. I'm a pro audio application specialist with Avid. We have some amazing news about the launch of Pro Tools 9 here on the show floor at AES. Let's walk through what's new in Pro Tools 9. First and foremost, Pro Tools 9 now supports built-in audio and also third-party hardware if it's core audio or ASIO compliant, class compliant device. A first for DigiDesign, absolutely revolutionary. So I'm using a Pro Tools HD native system here, but notice that I can easily go to built-in output on the computer, and this is true for a desktop or a laptop machine. Again, any class compliant core audio or ASIO device cross-platform on Mac or PC works fantastically with Pro Tools 9. Pro Tools 9 is now a standalone piece of software, doesn't require any hardware at all, and it's a single unified installer, so all the versions and options are included in a single installer. You just use your iLock to unlock the potential of Pro Tools 9. The second new feature in Pro Tools 9, one of the top most customer requested features, is automatic delay compensation on the host computer. That's right, ADC on the host computer, no DSP hardware required. You turn on your delay compensation here in the playback engine dialog. Here I've got it set to long. And then you can turn it on and off. Some people like to have delay comp off while they're tracking to reduce latency. So notice now when I turn delay compensation on under the options menu in Pro Tools 9, now I get my delay compensation values here at the bottom of each channel strip, right? So your mix is sound tighter, everything's time aligned and in phase. Here you go, here's your values. Obviously on these multi drum tracks with multiple plugins, all that's now time aligned, phase accurate. Again, this is on the host CPU, whether it's a laptop or a desktop, no additional DSP hardware required. Additional standard features in Pro Tools 9 is you now have a time code ruler. You now have AAF, MP3, MXF, and OMF support, no need for Digi Translator. We have variable pan depth. Yeah, so variable pan depth, a lot of people have complained about the mixer in Pro Tools, and they say it doesn't sound wide, the imaging's not as wide enough. So what this gives you the ability to do, and we'll show you this on screen in a second, is you can vary the amount by which uh, your center channel is deviated from. So the summing is different. You get essentially a, a variable spread with pan depth. So it creates the illusion things are either closer together or further apart. It creates a certain amount of spatial depth and gives you the ability to adjust that for anywhere from minus 2.5 to, to minus 6 dB. So it's a perceptual thing, it's a psychoacoustic thing. In addition to the essentially the doing away of Digi Translator and the, and the no extra cost for MP3 import export, we also offer you integrated Yukon. Yukon protocol is now directly integrated into Pro Tools 9, no need for Huey and no need for MIDI really much snappier response and a much deeper, richer experience. And that means now you can use Pro Tools 9 standalone on a laptop and use it with an Artist Series controller or the Pro Series controller like System 5, System 5 MC.